and the motor or onto my sorry i had a bluetooth hands free uh, uh, earpiece inside the vehicle i use it when i'm driving that's that's the that's that's what i used to put on my ear when i'm driving that was also inside the vehicle so ko dum tan hekkali so be jepti it was that bluetooth earpiece and the money for my rice these are the two things that the thief took away come a flash drive but the uh, ethiopian music and a flash drive which i had with me with some ethiopian music inside the flash drive so you're trying to tell us that really no valuable was taken from the car I want I you know what any journey of all of you the in the one the motor on getting them good young are you not it on your time to go under that you know a you know you know you know you know TD you know Teddy Dahl for a higher up yes but you've mentioned that a flash drive was actually taken can I we want them a flash drive your time at home hey yes you've also mentioned that it had some music on it we want them a music card you know in their own flash drive hey Yes. Was there any confidential or any other important information on the flash drive? On flash drive, mo wida on digi eti on kadinda. No wodi ko andana hino mara no ender ma ko andana wona hino nafi mo no nafi ha ko andana wona ma ungo ko andang for the andu redung ege be goli dera ma andang for the andu redung. Actually, flash flash drive oh, ah, ko ko music format wona dera hino ko double M. Or flash drive could be sold more because of the music. One of them are Addis Ababa mission now. I bought a flash drive in Addis Ababa. It's a WMA flash drive with music inside it, and it was uh, Ethiopian music which was inside the flash drive. On the matter, when I did a flash drive for why not the document on about format these all all formats of 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 data. And at that time, uh, not all flash drives. can be formatted to so wanna get a flash drive for why in up the document on about the format these all all formats of 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 data to take data uh, and at that time uh, this is why uh, uh, this one I, I brought was only music can be formatted to take data uh, this is why uh, this one I, I bought and Simi mi makom loto to simi loti ma hami pari arami jula so do mi wadde do mi borna de gudi am ko mi yaltan no mi fompa moto mi lota mo mi ndara fof mi ndara sita woni nebam dam yo isan so wala ndiyam en ko yari non so ko on waktu wono hedde waktu ji jeedi di subaka what i usually do in the morning is when i wake up sometimes before 6 sometimes around around 6 o'clock I will go and have showers after my showers I'll pray after prayers uh usually I'll go out to go and check the vehicle and clean the vehicle and uh, this is what I usually do every morning so it was during the inspection when I came to clean the vehicle and check that was the time when I discovered this uh, uh, incident So when you discovered it was broken into did you do anything gilanda ma yahuda yi uda famuda wonda ma moto nde ofusama nda wodi ko wonno da eh ko gadino mi wadde ko call the sambaba what i did initially was to call sambaba ko kanko wonno government control uh, uh vehicle government control officer he was the uh, government vehicle controller ne parmi don after call me ne arrest police station because ko kanko nono wi no ko wi kam no do police but mo bada de Okay, not the Banjulunin police. After talking to him, he told me to call to call the nearest police station, and it was the Banjulunin police station which was nearer to me. So I called the Banjulunin police station. So you call the controller who is in charge of the government vehicles, and he asked you to call the police station to report. report the matter which you did and was this recorded and booked at the police station gilanda ma nodunda da bal ni banjulun ni police station da banjulun ni police station kambe kadi be windu no dum kandra diary mabbe be windu dum be be wi wonda ma be hollira wonda ma ka book mabbe wonda ma an mamadu so de ari do a hali do fi nguji nguya go andanda hino o hebi esengoma eh sa yes be windu no ha de de be ari 
ndeb ari sabe mbadi inspect motoy hore wum habe pari de be jeewi pewna na kam ko mita ko police report well they even came to check on the vehicle after they checked the vehicle they went back and booked uh, what, they, what they saw so that uh, they will prepare a police report for me do you have a copy of that police report nda hida jogi copy copy on police report not on me me wonda le makoni no it is not with me here kono banyulu ni police station sa nda timeline bo totan mame wo sa lamdi ma be bawa ma totu de on be bawa ma totu de no sibinda re lok bu ma be wo yes i can uh, give you the banjulu ding police uh, stations number uh, probably if one calls them they will be able to go through their diaries and this document might be still might still be with them thank you mr saw as a commission we'll try later on to see whether we can actually get a copy of that report uh, and Mr. you will so, assist us comme no ando dani commission <coughs> menen comme commission joni men ngi yaw siawti do seda men daro e men wadai fere men daro si men wawa e famondere mabbe be da be da itana men so after the report and it was booked and there was a police report was there any investigation that was done dilen dama yaw e famin da police sabe banjulu ndim police station be are be daari affaire on be book wadi do be windi dum ka daari mabbe ndagila dum fecce be be liginti no affaire on ah banjulu ndim police station mi ari don over three four times bay ko don dawan do mi ah mi lamdo to be hono hoko be gandi he dum hoko wadi do kono kayen ko hunde wotere mbi kam mbi kala banno do dum ko sabotaj yes i have been to the banjulu ndim police station three to four times but whenever i go there what they usually tell me is that well the person who did this did it just for sabotage that's what they were repeating to me whenever i go there was anyone arrested for breaking into the car nda e do e do gandal ma famu no wonde ma wodi mo be andanda be sobidi be andanda be no be nangi na goto mi tinani no i was not aware of any arrests so up to date nobody is aware of who broke into the car a hande ka wonde do ni hay goto anda ko hombo fusuno dem weruje moto wal nati der to to ha joni mi anda yes up to this date i don't know mrs sao can you continue to tell us what happened after the police report and you were about to go back to work you and why continue ha na yimbe gelande ma yahuda police ha police on wind report mabbe fuddida yahudo yahugol golle ko honnu wadi de police abe ngi de be pari ko be ko be ndara no ko hender moto ha be pari ha be bigam okay joni si men jeemin pewna no police report bimbe awa ben police abe sa ko min wadi be drive ha banjulu ni station ban be drop after yahudo office yes uh, after the police checked and they informed me that yes we will write a police report and uh, uh, whatever comes after you will be informed in fact it was me myself who drove those policemen back to the banjulunding police station and i dropped them at the police station there can you continue to tell us what happened after that da way continue hal na himbe ko hondo hebi gila dum don wadi so de wonno de wonno moto mi da goddo goddo no wawa hebde access nata hender moto e jamma way si da woni o arnaudo o wujjan ton bagage because moto o bo soki joni si da woni goddo heboy chance goddo heboy chance o ari o tawi window o fewna ha joni kanko nata to wajjeftu de bagage goddo so min mi fadani hay police report mi fadani hay officer wi kam be wara dum maintenance min yo yo wi hadi sam fewnu mi yoro yes because after this incident i didn't want anybody else to access the interior of my vehicle So when all that thing when all things took place then I I decided by myself to go and repair the vehicle so I took my own money and I went and repaired the window and I made it back so that uh, 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 because I I ha- I usually lock the vehicle so so that nobody else will be able to access the vehicle or the interior of the vehicle so uh, that's why I decided on my own to go and repair whatever has been broken there e do mi hen kadi so mi uh, um anti theft alarm system ban mi hen uh, install then after that i decided to buy an anti theft alarm system which was installed inside the vehicle so you are telling this commission that you used your own funds to actually repair the vehicle and to even install a security measure for your own protection joni hino wa ini afala wi de commission won dem ko andi je tunno bu defense ma mbudi ma yahuda fewnuda ko bonno bonna no e moto on dum ha hadane dum non kadi yahuda soduda ko wete ko anti anti def alam yahuda posuda dum non pour wuibe ben pour wuibe ari do hara be famete fi mabbe 
Gonga. Yes, that's true. Can you tell us what happened after you did that? Eh, ndai da way halande yimbe gila wadda dum ko hondu wadi. Maru ro koy alarba jamma. Eh, this incident happened on Wednesday at night. Woni woni ko fewnu 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 gol moto o. He wad gol len anti alarm system o. Ah, anti theft alarm system o ko alarba jamma dum hawri. One of fourth complete, fourth one complete. All the job and the installment of the anti-theft uh, alarm, all, all that job was done on a Wednesday in the evening. Oh, when Django had um alchemist, when I am looking at him, normal. The following day was a Thursday. I went to work as normal, and I came back home. Juma one way in on. And Friday also the same thing. I went to work. Everything was normal. Kono anyane juma anyane ngarutu mi mi arutu juma mi do mi do galle ha waktu ji jeta ti waktu geje. But when I came back home on Friday, I was at home until around eight o'clock in the evening. Um, onto magono do commander state guard lamen sane or what you can call. That was the time when the commander of the then state guards called me lamen sane. Or we can. Min kumi biya da yomu wima ya ya arthur moto jango. He informed me that well he has been given instructions to tell me that I should return the vehicle the following day. Did he tell you where he got those instructions from? Da o halan na makohondo hebu nonde yamiro. Milam dunu dum first oparano halde kono bimi mo ana okani ka moto te ala otori si lamlo galang moto. When I questioned him where he got that instruction from. Initially, he refused to tell me. Then I also told him that, but you didn't give me the vehicle. So then, how can I return the vehicle to you? So, the Andy be Paris at in the week I'm also an Andy. What Andy mean? Say me hardly know what Andy got to do to me. Well, when I was defiant, he realized that I have stood on my ground. Then he decided to tell me, so you know me. So this order, I, I, you should know that it came from the top, not from me. It isn't my order. It came from the top. Or you can come to you, see, you know, one day, one day, we are on. See, you know, one day, my motor, my mother, no more use. Come to lamb, no. Come on, I'm not lamb. Then he, in fact, informed me. Well, he thought that the vehicle I was using was a central government vehicle, not a vehicle belonging to the uh, uh, head of state. Okay. So you've told us that he said the instructions came from the top. We we da wonder ma lai min sana we ma wonder ma da forty five mu da wonder ma kongongol ko do imori. And that you should understand when he says from the top. He da forty five mu da so we ma wonder ma kongongol ko do imori. Can you explain to us here in the commission to understand what they mean by from the top? Jawani kau anda orang kau jual di dalam dah sudah way lapin anda mana Yesus amin komisong anda sahwi anda mau do kau tu wanita um kau tu nufirit. From the top mau wino dono, imo reso do mau wino dono. Mida andi lamin sane, sekretari jeneral okatana lumi instruction yo jep tu motor am. Jadi mida andi kontrola government vehicle ala authority vehicle lamin sane. What are necessary if you can go and we allow inside not to show me out of your article at all? I know that. I know that the uh, uh, control of the vehicles will not give instructions to Lamin Sane for him to ask me to return the vehicle. And I know that also the then Secretary General will not give him instructions from him, uh, uh, for him, for Lamin Sane to tell me to return the vehicles. So I understood that these two people don't have the authority to take this vehicle from me. So go to Kemno or Dolewa, what do you want to talk about? I mean, I want to talk about at that time, on what you don't go to President Yajami. So it was only one person who has that authority to tell I mean, son to tell me to return the vehicle. And that uh, 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 person happens to be the head of state, Yajami himself. So you are telling us that you believe the orders came from Yai Jame to actually take back the vehicle from you. Johnny, you know what? Any afala we don't know. Anko, ko holi, ko holi da ko ender hakita ko nangu da ko hakila ma ko duwa ni we wonder ma. Mi kongongol ka imoro da ko duwa ni yamiro na ka imoro na ko duwa ko Yai Jame kong halin la misane puri onot de puri morong ibe artiram. He do no la misane we rekam ni wonder ma dunko do iwe ko ondan gan do mi woni do ngan da mo wa we la misane yo London motor. 
Yes, it, that could be the only reason because it was uh, Lamin San who told me, who gave me this information. And as I know the system, uh, Lamin San doesn't have that authority, then it can only be one person who, who happens, who can be the head of state. He is the only person who can give instructions like that for me to return the vehicle. Thank you, Mr. Saul, for that. You also yeah. said something interesting. You said when he spoke to you, he actually mentioned that he thought your vehicle was from the central government and not from state have state house vehicle hali do gari ko kir do woni wi da wonda magila o nodduma o wi ma o wi ma wonda kanko o sikku nonda moto mo jogi no da on ko na na laamu laamu ngun jeema ko state house on jeema on the contrary ko wi hmm yes what he said was kanko laame sana wi min mi o wi o wi kam andi min ko cheddo hal ni kam dum sa o wi kam de amira dum yalla ndi birin biri ya fonya fon de ngamira dum well, what he told me, he, in, he gave me this information in Mandinka. He told me that, well, the vehicle you have, I thought that it was a vehicle belonging to HE, not a central government vehicle. Thank you for that. But that still gets to my point is, does it mean that there were vehicles that were personally owned by HE? Yeah, it's mm. then? No, I had one in the room, no, I had one in Johnny Hana had you on a follow in the widow on the Maya Jam Hecky. Imojuki Motoji one don't go under the one of Kankutiki Jay. All work today, Minel Kodumen Gumno, because Minya no Motoji in Ganunda, central government, Wawana showed the one in Motoji. Men Ganduno Kadi, a fleet Jimakodi, fleet Mako, a fleet Gigi fleet or one at the Gotum. So Minel Protocol Tau men kept on access from time to time, men what I use Motoji Mako Kanko or Mako. Instead of men, but I use Motoji, I mean, meaning government. Yes, at that time, the central government has its own fleet of vehicles. But HE also has his own fleet of vehicles. Then from to time to time, we, when we need uh, transportation, sometimes we will use vehicles from his own fleet, which are different from the, the, the central government vehicles. Because among the HE fleet of vehicles, you have, very, uh, you have vehicles which we know that the central government will not buy. So those vehicles can be only purchased by the president. So the, he has his own fleet different from the central government vehicles. Thank you for that, Mr. Saul. Yeah. And just as a point to go back a bit, you had said that you believe the order came from Yai Jame to take the vehicle. Ruto dem ba was said that. Avi wanda ma do hakile ma anku gomda ko hakile ma vida wanda ma sikuda mi jo made kongongol ko Yai Jame ngol imori. Could it have been possible that the order actually came from someone else and not Yai Jame? Da hino wa wanda kadi kongongol hingol wa imora de sengu go sengu go do go hara wana Yai Jame. No, I wonder possible. Yes, that could be possible. Kono min impression ko lamin lamin sana oki kam ko woni wonde no but hono wi ko to top ewi mi miji ma Allah ibudal ko hombo woni on top of lamin sana as state guard commander ko rimi andu ko hombo woni do mako si wona ya kan ko yaajabe well that could be possible but according to my own deductions it could only be the the head of state because as lamin sana told me it came from the top and if you think in those days what the top means for us it could be only one person, and that is the head of state. Thank you very much, Mr. Saul. Yeah. So when you were asked to now return the vehicle, what actions did you take? chief of protocol at the time. First of all, I called the then chief of protocol can you give us his name? One one you know we Moses Benjamin Jalo. His name is Moses Benjamin Jalo. Continue. Then not do mommy hapari. After calling him. Be mommy wonder me the commander calling him. Do you know what surrender motor on? I informed him that the commander of the state guards called me and told me to surrender my vehicle. So, she ta woni hada hen andi hunde. So, if you are aware of this uh, uh, information, what have you got to say about this? So, quickly, can go, we can, no, okay, 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 okay. Then, quickly, he told me, no, 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 
return the vehicle to them, give them the vehicle. Apari, no dominion on tuma samba, lamdi mi samba. Then I called Samba by himself. Call me lum hangon mi kori mi lum hebde. But uh, I tried many times to reach him, but I was unable to get him on the line. Then when we call former chief of pre previous chief of protocol before Moses. Then I called the previous chief of protocol before Moses became the chief of protocol. Can you uh, give us his name? No, no, we are And position at that time. Kanko Ali Usman Sise at the time Tau Kanko Ono Director General of State Protocol at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. His name is Alhaji Usman Sise. He was the then Director of Protocol Affairs. So, Kalan won't be more up, meaning the meaning they call Kodum Wadi guy. We come out, we come Hodum Hodum chief of protocol. We then, after giving him the information, he asked me, Then, what is the view of the chief of protocol? Kalan won't be more COP, the view of Okipio Mitotis be Vigulo. Then I said to him, Yes, the COP said, Let me return the vehicle to them. We come, okay. He said, Okay. Meaning, my side, meaning, my heart, and I mean, the Keba no more vehicle. Actually, one or no. Then I also informed him that the reason for calling you is that when I was uh, giving this vehicle, it was because of you and you were aware about all the arrangements. So this is why, before returning the vehicle, I have to call you and put you in the picture. Mr. Sao, did you return the vehicle? Mr. Sao, did you return the vehicle? Mr. Sao, did you Juma Juma mi wawa ni nautu de moto kono wi di subaka taw ko set set lo wonno gambe do nyanen sam di subaka aset subaka so before 9 naw di moto banjul state house ngoku mo bite do a momodu njay kanko wonno hotli at den commander i was unable to return the vehicle on that friday evening but the following day was a saturday and it coincided with a set set which was taking place but before 9 o'clock i rose and took the vehicle to state house and I handed it over to Mr. Momodun Jai. Um, we are on to my uncle. He was the oddly to, to, the to, to the commander of the state house uh, state guards. So this Momodun Jai was actually the oddly to Mr. Sani. No, any o Momodun Jai, Kanko won no oddly guardo Mr. Sani. Yes. Did you sign any paperwork for handing it the vehicle over? No. Were you given any sort of acknowledgement to say that you had handed back the vehicle? No. When I brought the vehicle and I was about to hand over the keys, before even he took the keys from me, he made a call. He said he, said he was calling Lamin Sane at that time to inform him that uh, Momodu has uh, brought the vehicle. Thank you, Mr. Saul. So after you gave back the vehicle, can you tell us what happened after that with you your job? After from that day on, I had to find my own way going to work and coming home. Every day I have to pay fare to go to work and come home. Sometimes it was Mr. Jumajane, who was also uh, at, uh, working at the protocol section. Sometimes he will give me a lift to going to work. Uh, uh, so he was the person who was giving me a lift sometimes. But usually I have to pay uh, to find my own way to go to work. And how long did this go on for? No, I need to get them not to on high. Go over to pass for my window, Miss Ove, video, Mr. Juma, Naborama. No, yeah, what to Jijalu? Do what a boy I need, Sabu. Mr. Khan, I would join to this. It was not long. I think it was just for a period of two weeks. So, can you tell us what happened after the two weeks? 
Wallahi da waye halan da himbe bilanda maden don jonde didi yawti ko hon dum wadino kadi ko hender den don jonde didi nyaame office nyalande wotere you know on yan wonno ne nangami well it was towards the end of those two weeks one day i went to the office and that was the day i was arrested to be specific it was on the 19th of november 2012 yone pour labbi nendo du woni nuno hebbi du woni lewru wiyetendu november balde mun sappo e jeena 2012 you reported to work in the morning yahuda golle subaka for your morning meetings de meeting ji di wattu wow do ni wadde bimbi ji dim fow and you continue tell us what happened de jonda way went for that meeting continue hala na yimbe gilanda ma yahono da pour e tawe da on meeting yow subaka simi ari ligge ko buri ko hewde sumi yottima njahal mi ko to office of the chief of protocol usually when i go to work after reporting after reaching my office what i usually do first is to go to the office of the chief of protocol sorry mr so sorry can you confirm that the date i mentioned is correct wi nda hida way gongindin de do taw nyalane de wi nda hinde 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 fewi ana nande yena yes it looks correct as he stated he said Yes it look it looks correct. Thank you. Continue. Ya rama da waye fejude. So ko njada fof ko non men barata so mi yottima ko mami ya to chief of protocol mi hala na mo assignment bi assignment ji ko totuno kam ko hoto de tolnori ko hoto heddi ko hoto mi yawti ha ko hoto dum pari o hala na kam sita woni kessi kadi no woli o totaka. Yes that's the norm. Every day after reaching my office I will go to the office of the chief of protocol then I'll give him the information about the assignments he gave me those which took place already those which were pending and uh, uh, whatever is to be done that's what we discussed and if he has new assignments or anything new to do then he will uh, uh, we will discuss that can you confirm again the name of the chief protocol officer then nda ha joni kadi da way labbi labbi nande do himbe ho wonno do chief of protocol on wattu waktu bo de nyalane de kalami do on waktu tay ko mosis benjamin jallo wono to the day i am talking about it was uh, during the tenor of mr benjamin jallo mosis benjamin, benjamin jallo yes, can you continue to tell us what happened that day oh effe jude hala na yimbe ko hondum hebi nyen nyalade so le nyalane do kadi is just ni way no nyalane fof rek mi ya njottimi to office makko kono ni njottimi office makko mi tawmo hala e telephone Well that day also was just as usual uh, uh, when I reached my office then I decided to go to the office of the chief of protocol but when I entered his office he was already on the telephone talking to somebody so ndari mi seda mbi mi fado mi fado be o wara hang up joni or maybe o jabta post seda mi salmina mo rek mi yabo after mi arayat then I stood uh, thinking that well let me wait until after he finishes talking on the phone I will uh, ex- I will exchange greetings with him then I'll inform him that well let me go back but I'll come back later Mr Saw do you remember what time of the day this was Ndai da way mandi dare dum ko what what to dum hebi dum ko subaka law woni hedde hedde half past 8 it was in the morning uh, in the early hours of the morning it was around half past 8 8:30 So when you met him on the telephone Can you can you tell us what happened after that? Then the Yahuda tawda him hala kay telephone. Tay da way joni hala de himbe kon du wadi. So mi fadane bodon ko buri minute minute goto wala minute aji didi. Ah edu gomes tabimen to derto. It was just less than 2 minutes maybe a minute and plus that's the time when Edu Gomes came in and found us there. Mr. So who is Edu Gomes? Mr. So ko hombo woni o Edu Gomes jo. Edu Gomes ko Then NIA is uh, cooperative map go to one but another post state house. Edu Gomez was working with the NIA. He was one of the operatives who was posted at the state house. Do you know his exact title at the NIA? Da, he da andi tigi 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 ko hon du woni golle makko den ka NIA ka state house to. No, me na title title makko na. Kono mi da andi ko to ko to intelligence office to won no. No I don't know his title or rank but I know that he was one of the intelligence officers Continue to tell us what happened on that Why fejude hala na yimbe ko hebi kon gadi 
Tokoni edunati gila edunati. And this is how it happened. When Edu came into the office, Wario Salmini kam. He greeted me. Then Osona Nikam. What you do? Osona Nikam. I do. Uh, on to, yes, he, 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 he decided to tell me something in, low, in a low voice. He whispered something to me. When we come, Mr. Saw could direct to Amin Kutafala Halulema. He told me that, Mr. Saw, one of our directors wanted to talk to you. I said, is that so? He said, yes. I said, okay. Uh, then, after me, after me, because my telephone had you in it. I said, okay, let's go. Then later on, I can come back and greet my boss because he is still talking on the telephone. This is how I went out with Edu. We left the office of the chief of protocol. Then we headed towards the intelligence unit's headquarters in the state house then. At the time that he whispered something to you in your ears, were you at the office of the protocol then? What to more? So only no got no. So only man got no can there no pima. Ndaka office protocol or one other. Their office ticket. Talk about yes or chief of protocol desk mako the office desk mako the men go in their office mako. I was standing right in front of the office of the desk of the chief of protocol in his office. When Mr. Edu Gomez decided to escort you out of the office, oh, Mr. Edu Gomez, would office? Did the chief of protocol stop his telephone call to find out why you were leaving the office? Chief of protocol, on one boss ma, one not a telephone or halo gol. Nda otaj no telephone on puru Orlando ko hondo wa di hondo be one mana ude. Allah, no. So he just allowed. The said Mr. Edu Gomez to escort you out. Yes. So continue to tell us what happened when you got to the office of the NIA at the State House. When we were approaching the office of the intelligence unit in the state house, I thought that the director he talked about was in that office. But when we uh, reached, uh, when we reached Edu's vehicle, he told me, "Now let's let's use my vehicle." When he told me that, let's use my vehicle, then I thought that, well, the director he mentioned is not inside the state house premises. Then uh, it must be somebody who is out of the uh, state house. <coughs> This is how we boarded his vehicle. Drive. He drove us. We went out of the state house. Towards Albert Market. We went towards the Albert Market. He turned and took the route towards St. Mary's. After we took the Independence Drive. Then we, we, took, the arch. we took the Independence Drive route towards the Arch. I to because already me and the guy, by the direct from a phone at only me and the office that when I got to see one, I want to marina parade. When the way going, none of us spoke to each other because I knew that uh, the way we were taking leads to the NIA office, and uh, uh, as far as the director is mentioned, should have been at the state house. Then we went like that quietly. I, I didn't talk to him, he didn't talk to me. That's how we went to, to, uh, towards wherever he was taking me to. So where did he take you? Hondo na wana buma. Ona wika mko number ten marina parade. He took me to number ten marina parade. Damu gal gal lema pedo winda na gambia produce marketing board. The 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 words written in front of the gate there was the gambia produce marketing board. Wani gal legondo opposite judiciary. 
complex. Was, it was the compound directly opposite the judiciary complex. The judiciary complex. I know you said on the board it said Gambia Granot. Gambia Produce Marketing Board. That's it. Sorry. PMB. <laughs> but what was it? What was that place known to be? We of our new one name. We do in the what do one Gambia Produce Marketing Board. On palace. Go on no andira no. They call on one no headquarters National Intelligence Agency at the time. At that time, that was the place uh, called the headquarters of the National Intelligence Agency. So when you got there, did you enter through the front gate or the back gate? We entered the yard through the back corridor. We did not go to the front gate. 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 We went through the front gate. Continue to tell us what happened after you were taken through the front gate. Wai fedi de hal naim, hal naim, bekoh nunggal dihe bi, gilan demar yaru dah mak, nadi nrima dambu galia songal. Doa he men nadi de dambu galia songal, deo deo hari how, deo tour ni how dari beli gurih de dambu galal, kono waktu men kau hal hal dia, ohi kami so so, bila direct kami no lamu so masih dari kono boya tak kujunian, juni juni dek para. When he reached the gates, he turned the vehicle, and when I was about to alight, he told me, well, Mr. So. Uh, it is going to be a short discussion. Our director is going to ask you for a few questions, and that will be all. Then later on, uh, you can leave. Koni be udish damugal mangal min yo kanko yo ender motomako men nati ender galero. So that's the time when they opened the gate. Myself and him, he drove the vehicle inside. We alighted. And we alighted. Yes. Continue, Mr. Sow. Ndemen GP. Mina mako kadi mene ruti ti to to damu galto imbe be wiyaro be tepe na tiri zato. And after alighting from the vehicle, we went on foot to the older gate where people who usually come on foot, they have another gate where people who come on foot on foot used to enter through. So we went to that gate. Don deke ko guard room wondo. But there is a guard room near that place. Deke deke ko don woni guard room. Well, this was, I didn't know about that the day I knew that there is another guard room here. So, I don't know if I have details here, in the am, you know, to the guard room, time, and I don't know. And that's the guard room where I entered, where they took my details, my name, where I work, and all the information they needed from me. So, Mr. Edu escorted you to the guard room. Mr. Edu confessed him on the guard room. Which is like a form of a reception area. So he knows that he goes to a reception because he wants to be a business manager. Yes. So did he hand you over to other NIA officers or was he present and they took your details? He was present and he took your details. 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 Kebenar Owi, Owi be komisar saya mi adi, ko invest Oya hata, invest mina batang bo. Yeah, when we arrived, Edu told the guys inside that guard room that I brought Mr. So. We are going. I'm taking him for an invest. So at that reception area, you said your details were taken. Was anything else taken from you? Ini wanda mahu reception, tu wanita kabe hop eben kabe bis militer orang. Ada kira nama hehutu mayat tim mado, bejat tu nak kibar mado. Tau, dia wanda min, tau minat ane high office amta, tu state house tu. Kono ngarudu mini guru mini galle, kono nguni guru mini wanda noy bak amo, laptop amo muton, wanda wallet amo, wanda mobile amo, phone amo, tadi. Fuf bejat tu nayo cabe amo office amo. Well, when I left my home and went to the state house, I didn't reach my office. So I was having my bag, and inside that bag was my laptop. I had my keys and my mobile phones with me. So uh, this is how uh, I went to my boss's office where Edu picked me up, and this is how we boarded his vehicle and left for the NIA office. All those things were still with me. So in fourth, got on catch me the laptop or charge the mobile in fourth. I left everything at the gate there with those people. My laptop, my bag, my keys, my phones, everything was left with them at the gate. 
So basically, they stripped you of all your belongings at the reception area. You want to know why any alal ma on folk or jogi not akom bije tundum folk jungo ma ka reception don. No way. Yes, that's how it happened. Do you know the name of the officers who were at the reception area? Ben golla ino be don ben won be ka reception don ka be ji bismina to don hobbe ben ka be jetti no alal ma on folk don dahida ida andi inde mabbe. Being the ones that took your details and the ones that took all your belongings. Surdu mo andan da wonde mo kanko jetti no kibar ma on kanko jetti no kadi e alal alal ji madin. No, I don't know his name. Can you continue to tell us after what happened when they took all your belongings? Uh, after they took all my details, and they stripped me of my belongings. Edu asked them, uh, uh, are you ready? They said yes. Then that was the time when Edu told me in Wolof, boy, nine them. That means, boy, let's go. That's how we went out of the guard room. We passed Edu's vehicle where he parked it and went further. Then uh, we went into a small room. A small door. A small door. We went through a small door. And then the men jalti on the double door. Men ji escalate yeng di office got to do. When we went through this small door, we saw stairs leading towards the story building upwards to the first floor. Kodon men yeng edu her no yeso mi doche suki chagal mako. Then we took those stairs. Edu was leading and I was following him. Men daro yeko to office bite do. Um, director of operations. Thus, uh, we went, and uh, the first office we went to was the office of the director of operations. On time, be no Luis Gomez. And at that time, it was Luis Gomez who was in that office. Kon inde honki inde men nati ovi Luis osal minime oh inde men chalmo dere makawa pare ovi Luis miss me adi miss asau. We he knocked on the door and we uh, he, he was answered to go in. Then we went inside, and when we reached, when we went in, he told Mr. Gomez that, well, here is Mr. So, I have brought, I have brought him. So just to confirm, at that point, you are now sitting with a gentleman called Mr. Edu Gomez, who is now taking you to the gentleman called Mr. Louis Gomez. Mr. Louis Gomez, Edu Gomez. John, if you don't fetch your own, you have to make uncle and uma watch God of your Mr. Luis Gomez. Is that correct? I don't know why. I don't know why. Hey, that's and correct. Mr. Luis Gomez was the head of operations at the NIA at that time. Mr. Luis Gomez, go kango jogi no sengo, kango jogi no sengo ilige NIA before tongo biya tongo operation on what? I don't know why. Yes, that's it. Thank you for that clarification, Mr. Sir. Yara ma endo lap endo gan lap minore ma. Can you continue to tell us what happened in the office of the Director of Operations? That's the time when Mr. So, Mr. Gomez told me, uh, Mr. So, welcome. Thank you. I said thank you to him. English you can take him to invest. Then he talked to Edu in English and told Edu that take him to invest. So me no not for me under invest, invest me under invest. At that time, I didn't know what that word mean. The word they were using invest, invest. I don't know the meaning of that word invest. But I didn't also ask. Then I followed Edu again. So men jaldi office. Office Luis Gomez. We went out of Mr. Gomez's office. We took the right hand side turn. So we went and alighted the stairs. We went into an office where they called the office of the invest. So we went out of Mr. Sukuta Jamme. 
We found a man inside that office called Mr. Sukuta Jamme, but they usually call him OC. Go on what he may receive. He received us. Oh, you got Mr. So welcome. He said to me, Mr. So welcome. Koni mean kanko Sukuta Jamme. Min 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 not an office makko do kanko min tau bodo damugal makko do min jau to the makko ha to the extreme end of the building. We found him standing at the at his office door. We didn't go inside his office. After he said to me, welcome, then we decided to take that long corridor up to the extreme end of the corridor. Then we went into an office there on the right-hand side. Then we found somebody in that office called Mr. Mustafa Job. Then Edu, Edu he, Edu he OC Jamme, Ben Jalti. Then Edu and O.C. Jamme went out of the office. Then when those two people went out, somebody else came in called Lamin Sise. Koni Mustafa Salminikam. And at the time when I exchanged greetings with Mustafa, then he introduced me to Lamin Sise and told me that Lamin is my colleague. We are the people working here together. Yeah. He told me to sit down, then I sat down. Continue, Mr. So. So after you sat down, what went on? Mr. Job, um, then that was the time when Mr. Job started chatting with me. He was just making jokes. Making, uh, telling me things which will make me laugh. It was some sort of uh, a bantering. We were joking and talking. Can you tell us what he was actually telling you? house. <laughs> Type of jokes. Yes, usually wherever we go, they, what they will tell us is that you people working at the state house, bring money for us, bring these dollars and pounds sterling so that we will also have our share and eat what we are supposed to get from you. These are the type of jokes he was making to me. These were the <laughs> uh, uh, words he was telling me. Did you say anything to him? Uh, Nandani he can joke more than all because me on time they wanna they joke Allah here on time. Well, at that time I was unable to reply to his jokes because I was a bit worried. I don't know what I'm there for. So this is why I was unable to you know reply to his jokes that I should have. But I just made some few words with him. So at that point you were in a state of confusion. No, I ni on on what to jaban on what to mo on on hari da ji bizera. Yeah, that was it. You still do not understand why you were taken to the NIA headquarters. That's it. Therefore, you did not think there was a need to be joking at that point. Yes, whatever joke at that time anybody tells me, I know that I was not there for a joke. So this is why I was not in that mood. Thank you, Mr. So. I think, Mr. Chair, this is a good point to take our first break, and we'll continue with, with the witness when we get back. Uh, thank you, Council, and thank you, Mr. So. We will resume at um, 5 past 12 noon. Thank you very much. Meeting is adjourned. Ajara Matigi, Mr. So, Menghada, do me ya, Purme ya, what a break. See Allah Jabi, see twelve Yauti Minita, Joy Men Ruta Arde Men Continu Anani. Ajara. Ajara. Welcome to Baraka Estate in Bakote. one of the newest and most developed estates within the country.
beautifully designed architecture equipped with amenities. It is with great honor to invite you to the launching of the Baraka Estate on the 27th of February, 2020. Please join us at 9.30 a.m. for a beautiful showcasing.